Hello, Bees Bladers! Welcome back, and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have a brand new knife from a company that hasn't even named itself yet. What? What? But they do sell their knives on Amazon, and they have everything from budget to ultra or super premium, at least in my book. But we're going to check this one out. They said, hey, would you like to check out a couple knives? And I was like, hey, yes, I would. So here we go. This is the QYG MGS GD22K. <laughs> okay, uh, we should definitely find a name for them. So here's a look at the texture. It has excellent, I mean, really good texture. I mean, it is super grippy. And if you look here, I don't know if we're going to have a D-shaped pivot. We're going to take it apart and see what's on the inside here in just a second. And there's your flipper tab. The flipper does not have any jips going on. And look at this. The blade is completely on the inside. So this is going to be more of a gent or a ladies carry. It's not going to take up a lot of space in your pocket. And I like it. It's a very simplistic design. And you do have a lanyard hole for all you lanyard lovers. And we'll see what the specs are and all that good stuff here in just a minute. You want to see this blade? Pow! Right in the kisser. Wow. Okay. So it does come out with some authority. It comes out really fast. Ooh, I like that blade. It's sharp and pokey. <laughs> Let's take a quick look at this blade. So it is coated and going down. It looks like it's nice and uniformy. Uh, there's no doubt what the uh, name of the company is right now. Those are an acronym for the company. But there's a look at the grind on that side and this side. Now this side looks like it has a nice even grind. If you'll take a look. And then on this side, it looks like it's a little steeper. Just a little steeper. And here is your, there's your plunge grind. And it is sharpened up onto the plunge grind on both sides. It looks like they did a pretty even job, at least as far as that. Let's see if it'll cut some paper. All right, got a piece of paper here. What's she going to do? Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Very, very nice. So from the factory, it has a nice, consistent, clean, very clean. I'm, I'm able to shave it right off the edge. That's not too bad. It is rippy a little bit when I'm trying to shave up those little bitty shavings. But it does have a nice grind. I've definitely seen sharper and I've seen much, much duller. Um, let's see. Left and right, no blade play. Up and down. Um, up and down, 1 out of 10. I am detecting a little bit of lock rock. That could be to... As to uh, how hard that I'm opening the knife, we'll check that out here in just a minute. And we're going to see all what the inside of it looks like when we take it apart. Now, what's our lockup? Lockups are uh, right just about in the middle, about 40-something percent. And are we centered? Um, it is a little off-center towards the show side, just a hair, just a wee bit. And let's look at this pocket clip. Um, is it reversible? It is not reversible, but it is pretty deep carry. And you do it is set on top of the G10, so this might, well, there's not a lot of room in there. Let's see how it does in and out of the pockets. Um, not too bad, but it is grabbing just a little bit at the bottom there, right here at this edge. So it'd be much better if they could get that a little more room, but I bet that's going to help the ergos. So you're going to give one and get the other, that, that type of thing. Let's do a quick size comparison so you all can see what this knife it looks like compared to some others. Here you go. The first one is the QSP Penguin. And you know, I haven't had this one out in a little while. The CRKT CEO. So many people love the CEO. So this, this is definitely along the lines of the CEO, that, that type of knife, that size of knife. Um, there's those. All right, let me get another one out and show you what it looks like with the, with the Rake P865B. So you can decide which direction do you want your blade to go. It's definitely going to be a nice slender carry. Um, I can see it kind of being an ad a dress up -y type knife. And here's a couple more. Here's the Kaiser Bed Lighter. Oh, yeah. And how about... The Best Tech Dundee. This is a brand new knife, brand new company. If you haven't seen my video on that, you can go check that out after you watch this one. And last but not least, how about the EF-16? I think these are like less than 20 bucks. So there, yeah, that, okay. So that is going to be what it most likely resembles is the EF-16. Now, the reason I say that is because it's more substantial, thick-wise. It has, it has definitely, uh, let's see, it's even thicker than the EF-16. You can get an idea there. Yeah, it feels it feels good as far as heft. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you join my knife content. All right, you ready? Pow! Right in the kitchen. I gotta say, this thing comes flying out. And oh, look at this! Look at this! Once it lets go, it is very very drop shutty. Ooh, very nice action. Okay, now it's listed as having ceramic bearings, and it may just very well. Okay, so. There's your light switch, which is very fast, and it's easy to push button. 
So the only the only drawback or nitpick I would say is that there's no jimping on here, but it has a very good detent. I don't know that you actually need it because whew, it does not take much at all to make that come flying out. So good detent going on. Right and left handed is comfortable. So the pass through works very well. There's not a lot of pass, pass through, but it works just right. And this right here is nice and uh, crowned. It's soft. It's not hard to the touch. Very easy to do. I liked it. I like it a lot. Very nice. Now my hand is four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here, and from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. And as far as ergos, plenty of handle room. Oh my goodness, choked all the way up here to the flipper tab. You have plenty of handle. Wow, for days. It's neutral, so you're not gonna have to worry about it forcing your fingers in any particular spot. Giving it the old B squeeze, I'm getting no hot spots whatsoever, probably because of that low profile on the pocket clip. I would say make the pocket clip a tad higher or inset the edge down here into the G10 so that doesn't end up catching your pocket. Kind of reminds me of a couple other uh, knives that I have where you kind of have to finagle a little bit in and out of your pocket because of it grabbing. But ergos, ergo wise, it's very comfortable. I can feel the pocket clip, but it's not hateful. It's not screaming at me or anything like that. But in the traditional sense, this is this is going to be good for just EDC, everyday carry, you know, going to weddings or if you're, you know, office type setting and you're allowed to carry knives or, you know, you go out to dinner, you want to have a nice sleek looking knife with you. I do like the Tanto blades. I do. I do. I do. And it'd be a great letter opener, package opener. It's D2 blade steel. It's comfortable. Your blade is about three and a half inches in total Total length overall is about eight and a half inches. So let's go ahead and take this apart. And we're at the disassembly table. Now, if you missed my last video where I disassembled a knife, <laughs> yeah, you should probably go watch that if you didn't see it. All right, so the question is, do we have a D-shaped pivot? Um, well, I typically go from the uh, clip side, so let's try it from the clip side. And all right, that came out easy. And what's going on? Ah, okay, so the pivot, here's your, here's your pivot screw. The pivot wants to come, the pivot screw is pointing towards the show side. So let's take it apart from the show side, see what happens. So this body screw is a T6. Uh, too bad it wasn't a T8, but this is a budget knife. Uh, they, run, they run around $36 or $37, I believe. So looks like taking it apart's not gonna, well, if I would have unscrewed the screw all the way. Um, taking it apart, is that all we have is just two screws? Here we go. That is, that's kind of nice, just two screws. So here's the inside. And I have some uh, rubbing alcohol on a, on a, what do you call those? A microfiber cloth. And it has plenty of lube, plenty of, pl plenty of rust preventative on it. And let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and open it up, get that blade out where I know where it is. Popped right off. Relatively clean, not too bad. But you know what? It already had good action and we got a little bit of schmutz off of there. That means the action can only get better. So, oh, very nice. It has an internal stop pin. I like that. And are those ceramic? Those kind of look like steel bearings. We're going to double check. It's listed as ceramic as far as I know, but those look shiny like steel. We will double check. Boy, those are little. Little. And here's a look at the inside. There's your stop pin. And can we get some of that schmutz off of there? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. We're getting it all cleaned off. There's the pivot, and the pivot is not D-shaped. Uh, do wish it was D-shaped pivot. I think every knife, all knives out there should have a D-shaped pivot. All right, so nice and clean. We're all cleaned up. Let's get her back together. Well, I guess I do have one one more side to clean here. Make sure it's all pretty. All right, we're going to give me some KPL and put in the, uh, you know what? I didn't, <laughs> I got so ahead of myself. I didn't even clean off the bearings. Hey, I was like, hey, let's see how fast we can do it. And we don't have a detent hole. What we have is a, this little notch up here, right there. So this is interesting, and then the little notch right there. Very, very interesting. I have, I've never seen that before. So that, wow, how about that? So something new. Um, did I get that clean off? So here's, here's our uh, ball bearing. I'm just going to put a tiny little drop of KPL Heavy on there. Just like that. And, okay, so that is, uh, that is neat how that's going to travel. And that is your detent, the best I can tell. Very nice. Okay. All right. So let's get these uh, little dudes cleaned off and I'm going to check them with the magnet, make sure whether they are ceramic or steel because inquiring minds want to know like me. 
And you know what time it is. Friday nights, Bees Blades, live at the Hive, every Friday night, 8.15 to at least 11.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. We have an absolute blast. And here's my magnet. And does it stick to the magnet? Yes, it does. So we do have steel ball bearings. So now that we've verified that, we can get a little bit of looby doob and get this, this puppy a rolling. Get it rolling. Boy, I, I lubed the heck out of that thing. These little swabs hold a lot. <laughs> now, as far as the knife goes, I have to say it's very it's very smooth. And we've just we've just cleaned it up and it's gonna be even smoother. So that is a major plus. It is a cool, cool, uh it's so cool, cool. It's like a cool cucumber. A cool cucumber. All right, let's put this dude on. Oh, you know what? We we have to put our uh, pivot back in here. So there's our pivot. And I am going to put a little juicy juice around the pivot just to make it nice and slickery. I, I am impressed by the action on it. And I do I do like this style of knife sometimes when I'm in the mood for a slender knife like this. And it is pretty cool how, how it works. So how is our detent hole working? So the detent is going into that little dent down there that I showed you earlier. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a knife with a detent spot like that. That is pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, let's get this dude back in here and put that dude back on there. And I'm not, I'm not going uh, super specific with it. You get the gist of what we're doing. We got it lubed up. It really wasn't dirty. There was a little bit of schmutzy schmutz on there, but not much. And so the disassembly was pretty good. So far, so good. Looks like everything's going back together nicely. Whew, very nice. After that last one, <laughs> and uh, by the way, you know, the last one I'm talking about, I even had uh, slow motion in there. Slow motion for me. So you definitely don't want to uh, forget to go watch that video. It's the video, uh, oh, what's the knife? I can't even think of it at, at the moment. My, my mind, I can only think of so many things at one time. It's a button lock. We'll just say that. <laughs> uh, wow. Okay. Two screws. You're going to go back in there. You're going to cooperate. Yep. Going back in nicely. Very nice. All right. Are we solid? Oh, solid. No play left or right, up or down. Um, it is still at the same spot. So you could maybe work at centering it a little bit more, but I don't think that's really an issue. I'm not worried about it. And oh my gosh, it is drop shutty. All right, back to the big screen. And we're back. So the GD22K, what do I think about it? Well, price point for uh, D2 and G10, it's kind of in that price point. It's in the 30, in the 30s, uh, upper 30s, around 37 bucks. It has drop shut action. I like the action. I like the blade shape. It came with a decent grind from the factory. It's easy to use. It's comfortable in the hand. Um, if I was looking at nitpicks, one nitpick would be that, that that G10, it needs recessed in the G10 or a little bit more pocket room in there. And another little nitpick is that it's not centered. You could work in that, but I mean, it is very close. I'm just, I'm just really looking for nitpicks. Another one would be that it's not reversible. All you lefties, no lefty love there, but... I don't even think it needs the jipping because just the style of knife it is and how easy it is to use. Here's your detent, and I'm not pressing hard. I'm not doing that. It has a great detent. So that's a major plus. I'm curious what you all think about it. Do you like it? Are you good, bad, and indifferent on it? Tell me. Tell me all about it. Leave a comment. Hit the like button, all that fun stuff, sports channel. So go watch this video. You're going to enjoy it. And until I see you again in the chats or in the comments or at the hive stream, remember, live life in the present. Keep a Band-Aid handy and don't cut yourself.